Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Beautiful fall day here in the PNW. Man, I love the colors. It's what I miss most about being in Michigan. I remember going up there in the fall, October, November. Oh my gosh, all the leaves. Oh, the yellow, the brown, and all the green, the uh, those rust colors and everything. It's just great driving down the road and, and all being just covered. It was like a big driving through a rainbow of fall colors. I love it. But, and the kids and I are actually learning some sign and we're learning about fall and winter and stuff like that. But uh, today's video is another episode of The Stuff. And it's an episode that none of you really need to be too concerned about, I guess, because either A, you already have one, or B, you probably don't need one. Well, I shouldn't say that. Check this out. Or well, at least the title already gave it away. Let's get going. Well, as the title said, it was a Mr. Heater, right? Mr. Heater. Now, as I was recording this, I wasn't really sure. I'm, I'm down at a shop. I've actually been working on a knife. I got Ron's knife right here. It's getting ready to go. Just finished having a snack. Uh, I'm doing, wrapping up Ron's knife today. Uh, doing some social media stuff, some email thing. A lot of cool stuff coming up to announce later on after this video, of course. But... I went to the second annual Coyote Works Overland Rally in October, and it got cold. Oh man, uh, Friday it dropped down to I think around 19 degrees or colder, and then uh, Saturday night it was a balmy like 25, 30. So uh, my buddy Greg, who you guys have seen before, he came out with me, and uh, we we only had our two sleeping bags, which both of them were around 30 degree bags, and. Uh, uh, that insulating liner that I put in there and I don't think at the making of this I didn't do a specific video on the insulating liner. I will uh, Probably after this, but I did a little uh, sneak peek of it or talked about it on the videos I did for the Coyote Works Overland Rally, but uh, I'll get back to it more uh, But that liner is what saved him and I because all we had was a layer of long underwear and uh, our stocking caps like hoodies and uh, our 30 degree sleeping bags and an insulating liner. And I know a lot of folks there didn't have an insulating liner like mine. And uh, they froze their butts off, but what they had and I didn't was a Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater. Now, I jumped on Amazon, of course. I was gonna buy it through my affiliation thing or something, but when I put it in there, they were telling me I wasn't gonna get it until November 11th to like December 5th or something. And right now it's uh, October, Oh, geez, what's the date today? I forgot. It's like October 14th or something like that, or 15th. But anyhow, at the filming of it. And uh, I said, well, I'm not going to wait that long because I got two more trips to go to. So I ran over to Lowe's and I bought this one, but this one's called the Tough Buddy. And uh, so I thought, well, what the heck? I'll, I'll unbox it. Maybe you that are watching this might see a difference between the Tough Buddy versus the regular Buddy heater. Uh, but I just thought, well, what the heck? I'll get it and share it with everybody. Um, they're, they range from, um, I think, $65 to about $75 or $80. Bucks. Um, again, Lowe's had them. I'll leave a link down below for my affiliate, um, which I mentioned to a couple of folks before, they didn't know it, that uh, when there's a link for an affiliate page, an affiliate like myself, uh, if we provide you a link, it's because if you buy from that link, if you click on that link, it opens it up, it'll go right to your mobile device. Um, you'll actually um, give us credit for it. A lot of times we don't make any money off of it, but once in a while we do. So I, I, I didn't know that. So I gotta mention it again just in case, but but this is my Mr. Heater. It says Portable Buddy down here, but in the box it said Tough Buddy. Uh, and this just says Portable Buddy Heater. Now I do know that you can get the Buddy Heater, the Mr. Heater, the Buddy, and I've seen them in red, olive drab, gray, and even in camouflage but I never saw them in yellow until I went to Lowe's and I found that. Home Depot had it and it was red and it looked just like my buddy Greg's who just bought one. And uh, he, uh, that was at Home Depot, they were about 80 bucks and Lowe's they're about 80 bucks, but I get a military discount at Lowe's so of course I just went over there. And they were yellow, which I was surprised about. Uh, but I figured, well, what the heck, I'll show it to you. Because the reason why I wanted to mention this and do this video is because the Mr. Buddy, this Mr. Heater, this Buddy Heater, you can actually use it indoors. Now in the PNW here, we come up uh, in the wintertime and we're very susceptible to bad 
winds in the winter time and we'll lose power. It's not it's not every year that it happens, but it does happen and it, maybe not for long periods. We've gone two, three weeks without power because of some bad ice storms. Other times only about a day or two. But this is safe to use indoors. Now from what I was gathering with the guys uh, at the rally when I was talking to them, you're looking at about six hours of heat. And it uses, and I didn't grab it, and I should have grabbed one, those little green propane bottles that you get. Here, you know what? I'll grab one, I'll be right back. Boom, just like that, I got one. Ha, the magic of editing. Uh, it's one of these 16 ounce bottles right here. Um, you get them all over the place. I mean, Walmarts and grocery stores and everything like that. But um, it attaches right back here on the side. And what's really cool about it is they're saying you can get about six hours of use. Now, I don't know if that was six hours of um, uh, use at, I think it's uh, 9,000 BTUs, or if that was 6,000 or six hours of use at the lower setting, which is I think around 4,000 BTUs. Uh, let me grab the uh, box here real quick. Here we go. Um, so what we're looking at here is we are looking at uh, two adjustments. So you're looking at 4,000 and 9,000 BTUs. It'll heat up to 225 square feet. Now that's not a lot of space, but it will heat up a room. So if you're with family, uh, you know, if it's your wife and you, or maybe uh, the kids, you can all hunker down in one bedroom. We usually hunker down in front of the fireplace if it's really bad. Uh, so you could always put this inside a room to help break the chill that all four of you are sharing. Uh, they're saying, here we go, we're saying uh, runs 5.4 hours on low and 2.4 hours on high. So roughly about six hours is what folks were telling me. So that's gonna be on low, which is fine because most of us are only using them in our annexes or in our rooftop tents and we're not using them for the whole six hours. Some guys have said they've just turned it on and left it on in their tent because these have good safety features that if you bump it, you go to knock it over or something, it shuts off right away. Um, says it's indoor safe. It says a low oxygen safety shut off and it has a tip over safety. It'll shut itself off as well. Uh, so I don't know how that will vary with the, uh, uh, talks about a heavy duty wire guard, which is uh, this right up in front here, uh, runs on one pound propane cylinder, um, low and high heat settings, easy to grip handle, indoor safe, low oxygen shut off, and so on and so forth, one year warranty. Um, but um, uh, of course, you know, it's, um, I believe, let's see here, yep, made in China, so there you go. Made in Mexico, made in China, made someplace, but it isn't made here, that's a bummer. Uh, but uh, I'm liking it. I thought, what the heck, I'd give it a shot because I have not done this before. I don't even know how to turn it on, so you're kind of learning with me. So I had to go throw the, uh, yeah, the old spectacles on, but I had to put a new battery in the camera. It went dead on me. Uh, but yeah, you gotta press and hold that uh, for a few seconds. Well, and then it, you give it a few shots, like okay, priming the igniter, and then hold it for about 30 seconds and it kicks off. And low, it wasn't glowing at all, but you could feel the heat radiate. But hot or high, woo, look at that. That's, uh, that's orange. That is nice looking, that is looking good. What was really nice is you do have to hold that handle down a little bit. You gotta hold this down slightly, uh, this knob. Push down for a little while, give it a couple of tries. It's kind of priming the system to get the gas through there and get the air out of the line. Uh, once that happened, it kicked off really good. Uh, the uh, uh, burning off whatever was on there because it's a new unit, burning it all off, it actually set the smoke detector off a little bit. But uh, that was because everything new might have some type of residual oils or something on it burnt off. but. Uh, other than that, really slick, really easy. Um, it's quiet, there's no noise or anything like that. It's on low, and it's kicking out a good amount of heat right there, so that is really nice. I could see this being something really, really nice to have for an emergency, and uh, um, even for when you're camping or something like that. So it's not specifically for somebody that's off uh, overlanding or off-roading. It's a good you know, camping tool like this for yourself. If you're a hunter, this is probably good for a blind or something as well, take the chill off. 
but more importantly, it's probably good for a really emergency type thing for your home. Again, this one here, I think was a little bit more money. Um, I guess just because it was called the, um, the um, what did I say, the Tough Buddy versus just the Buddy. But I don't know, it says Buddy on the bo on, on this, it says Buddy in the directions, it says Tough Buddy in the box. The other ones just say Buddy in the box. I don't know, can't figure it out. Maybe you, one of you guys will know why uh, uh, it's saying one thing and the other. But otherwise, I do like it. I'm now a member of the Mr. Heater Buddy Club. And I'm looking forward to taking it out in, in October, November, and staying a little warm. So everybody else, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. All the good stuff keeps me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.